Hi Capricorn viewers, we're going to look into what your person's thinking, feeling, wanting, um, whatever the cards want to say. Last reading I did, there was, you know, two potential people. There's a secret admirer that might be kind of stalking your social media. And then there's also the ex and the ex is ready to step up and claim you. So the choice is yours. You're really starting to come into your power this year. Um, despite all the struggles, I think that good things are finally going to start happening for you or they they started happening for you already. And yeah, you have two potential, you know, love options here. It looks like hidden truth, passion, romance, vulnerability, receptivity. Someone's wanting to confess their feelings is what I'm getting from this. You know, vulnerability, like openness, you know, see how open this person is like passion, romance, like look at this couple here. You know, this is that hidden truth. This person, someone's taking off the mask with you and they're they're wanting to let you know that you are their happiness, their warmth, their their light, you know, an angel, male or female, you're an angel in their life. Um, they're wanting to to connect with you. They're wanting to talk. Some of them, so for the, for this group, I was, the secret admirer energy has been coming up for a while now, probably like a couple months at least. And I, I was really getting strongly that the secret admirer just feels like, or they felt like you might not be open to them. Like just, just reiterating for new people on my channel. Um, this could be someone that you see at like a coffee shop and it's like they try to play with their hair and flirt with you, but you don't recognize it because you're, you know, just getting your morning coffee on your way to work. You're not, you're not in that mentality of looking for love. You're, you're focused on, you know, your daily tasks or it could be like someone you work with. And like when you're at work, you're just trying to get through the day and, and do the paperwork and whatever you need to do. And you're not thinking about love. Or um, maybe it's like a neighbor or it's like someone, it's like someone like you see, but maybe you see them in like a professional setting or something like that. Like the, the gardener or gardener, or the pool person or something of that sort. You know what I mean? It's like, it's some, or maybe like someone you see at the grocery store, but it's like when you're there, you're kind of focused on work or you're focused on the task at hand is the energy I'm getting. Like you're not thinking about love in that environment. So this person can't read you. They feel like you might be cold, guarded, distrusting, like they don't know if you're interested. That's the energy that's been coming up. But I feel like maybe some of you might have just given them an opening because I'm getting I'm getting that they're not as afraid as they were. And I don't know if you gave them an opening and maybe they're like, oh, like, OK, maybe I can confess my feelings to this person. Or maybe they're just at that point where they're so tired of not knowing that they would rather just put it out there and get rejected than, you know, go another month, two months without knowing how you feel. Like they're just tired of tired of the cycle. But I feel a good energy. I feel like there's been some kind of shift. So I'm wondering if some of you took my advice because I was telling you guys before, like, you know, flirt with them a little bit. Like if this is someone you see at your coffee shop, like smile, flirt, like you know, say something, do something, like give them, just give them the opening. You don't have to like give them your phone number or, or like ask them out or anything too intense, but just say like, Hey, like I noticed, I noticed you got your hair cut, you know, that color, that shirt looks really good on you. Um, you know, you have a really pretty smile. Like it's, it's, uh, you know, or, or if you're getting your coffee, like I'm, you know, it's, Oh, God, I don't want I wouldn't say like, oh God, what would you say? I'm trying to think. Thank you for making my day better. I don't know. Something just kind of cute and casual and flirty. But some of you did that. I, I, I think I think some of you did that. Did you? Did you guys? Can you answer? Can you tell me? Because I'm trying to figure out this energy. Because it really looks like. It looks like someone's wanting to take the mask off and be honest with you, unless this is the ex, but I feel like this is probably the new person. But whoever it is, someone... Could be different for everyone. I feel like most of you, it's the new person, but for a few of you, it could be the ex. But it's like someone wants to take the mask off and be honest about how they feel. They want to give into the passion and romance. They want to, they may be like listening to like cute romantic songs about you and kind of, they want to be vulnerable and give in and like, you know, come forward with their feelings. They've been kind of scared that you might be cold and guarded and distrusting, but for some reason, I'm just not channeling as much fear as before. So that's why I'm feeling like 
Like something must have, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I just realized how messed up that is. Sorry. <laughs> That's why I'm feeling like something must have um, shifted. Like something must have happened here because why are they not so, you know what I mean? Like I feel like they're more in this like romantic like, like, energy so you maybe you said or did something you're kind of being more observant of the people around you right now like you're something something makes them feel like okay and it, it could like I said it could also just be like they're just at that point where they're like screw it like the, I either get rejected and I have to move on or you know I, I get a chance to be with this person like some of them are just at that point where they're like gonna take the mask off just because they are tired of not knowing if you're interested in them or not some of them kind of like fret about it and like talk to their friends about it and they just, they don't know. But they, they have, it seems like they have more courage. Like they're, they're feeling that they're, they're in a very romantic, passionate energy. So they're really wanting to be more courageous and assertive and forward and just figure this out one way or another. So yeah, some of them, some of them notice, some of you are in a different energy. Like some of you are being more open to them and they're noticing that. They're noticing that you're flirting. For some of you, this is an ex that feels like you might be cold and guarded and distrusting and they want to come forward and apologize and show their regret and they're trying to work up the courage because they don't know if they're going to get rejected and this could be a past life connection and a soul contract that you guys have together so you might need to decide like some of the soul contracts can be ended some can't it really depends on what it is but you might still have these like ties to this like karmic ties or like the red red threads uh tied to each other still that you might need to cut if you don't want this anymore but yeah, there's two different stories here. So some of them, some of you, this is the secret admirer that's, you know, still a little worried, but they're, they're pushing through it now. They're like, you know what? If I get rejected, I get rejected. Like they just want to know either way. So they're coming forward and offering you this rose. And this is a past life connection for others. This is the ex that messed up and they're in this passionate romantic energy. And they're like, you know what? I'm going to give it, I'm going to give love one more chance. It's like, and they're gonna, they wanna apologize and see if you'll give them another chance. So, two different stories here. Or it could be both, honestly, because I did get Secret Admirer versus the ex. The ex is ready to step up and claim you. So, honestly, this could be both of them that are both kind of like in that romantic energy. And you could be doing love drawing rituals or something, or like putting the intention in that you're ready for a relationship or that you wanna manifest a relationship. And so, these two people that are interested in you might be um, energetically, like telepathically responding to that publicity social media and if this is your story and you want a private reading just send me an email my email is right below this video in the description box any donations are also appreciated even just a dollar it really adds up quickly my donation links are also below so thank you guys for that betrayal jealousy conflict a sense of belonging home safe space make your move green light Yeah, some, for some of you, this is like an ex that betrayed you and they want to tell you they feel at home with you and that their home is with you and they messed up or they maybe they cheated or something for a few, for just for a couple of you. It's a good, quick message. Um, <coughs> sorry. Well, yeah, let's see what else, what else do you have to say about this connection? Confusion, uncertainty. Betrayal, jealousy, conflict, manipulation. Who is this? Fast moving energy, chaos, sex, seduction. Make your move. Yes, yeah, some of you, the ex is coming through, but they're mentally unstable. It's not, it's not, for some of you, it's just like a warning that the ex might not be trustworthy. Like, yeah, they might apologize, but it might not be. It might just be more drama. It might be like a booty call type thing. It might not be something you want to do. You know what I mean? Okay. So Capricorn. So show me the rest of this energy. Show me the, the secret admirer more than the ex. I mean, there's two different stories here. So sometimes it gets tricky, but sense of belonging, home, safe space. Because sometimes the exes just pop up and I have to be like, no, chill. I'm trying to channel the secret to Mario right now, not you. Finances, career, sadness. Hmm. 
true love potential life partner yeah i feel like this person's like upset that you they've gotten upset that you haven't noticed them whoever this is they feel like you're more focused on like finances career like on you know just your own like doing your doing your doing you you know your own life whatever's going on with you like you're more more focused on those things and they feel at home with you. So it's almost like they feel the sense of like sadness because it's like they, they, I mean, they're glad that you're focused on those things, but they want your attention too. And this could, so this could be an ex that's like, you know, it was like familiar. It was like comfortable with them. Like, you know, you guys would like cuddle up and watch movies or whatever. It's like, you, you know, it, it's like you didn't kind of like escaping from the world kind of energy is what I get. Like shutting the outside world out. It was just you and them. And now it's like your life has gone a different path. You're more focused on finances, career, self-empowerment, hobbies, friends, whatever else. So it's like they're not your entire world anymore. And they used to be. It used to be just, just the two of you. And now it's like you have other things going on in their life. And it makes them sad and jealous. And so they're wanting to come forward and like be like, no, like, <laughs> let's just have it be me and you, <laughs> you know. Um, for others, I feel like this is just the secret admirer who's you know they're sad because they don't they don't know how to get your attention you know they want to confess their feelings whoever this is someone someone here is a potential life partner someone there's true love here is what i'm getting fast moving energy chaos you might get like a sudden like sudden message like confession of feelings that you're not expecting you might get that out of the blue like Hey, like, you know, I've been noticing on social media, I like you or like, hey, like you want to go out like, you, you know, you want to go out sometime like, I feel like some secret admirer is just at that point where they're like, let's do this. But like I said, some of you might have given them an opening because I'm feeling like they're, I really feel like they're more, um, they're not as scared, like they're more like, like, in that romantic energy, like they're giving into their feelings more. So that means one of two things. Like, I, I, or I can't think of it, what else it could mean, but I'm, I'm assuming it means one of two things. Either, you know, A, you gave them an opening and that's why they're feeling the romantic energy and they're feeling positive and hopeful about this. And so they're, they're feeling confident enough to maybe start testing the waters and eventually make a move um, or B they're just so fed up with not knowing how you feel that they're at that breaking point where they're just going to be like, Hey, you want to go out or you don't, do you not want to go out? Like they're tired, they're tired of not knowing. Um, but yeah, so it's good energy overall though. And if you know who this is, like if this is like your story and like that guy or girl at the cafe and you, you went and you flirted with them and a little bit and they're really open and they're flirting back and you're like, oh, okay, like like the psychic's advice was right. Like they like you're noticing who it is now. Like go again and flirt. Just go get a coffee and go like another compliment, another you know what I mean? Cause it's there it's giving them that courage. This person is very kind of shy, sweet boy or girl next door type. So it's it's really hard for them to ask you out. And they find you incredibly like just enchanting and attractive and you know, like down to earth, funny, whatever else. Like there's things that they really admire about you. So it's like they kind of get shy when they see you. Yeah, some of them, some of them are like waiting too long. It's like they're like, there's miscommunication. But I think you guys are clearing it up. God, I think this is the X coming through actually. Fucking freaking X's. Ugh. Yeah, there's an X that really messed up, I think anger miscommunication and they're waiting and hoping and praying and trying to manifest you back and they're feeling nostalgic for you and they could feel that you're about to meet someone else too or that you've met someone else that there's you know what I mean like they can feel that energy difference so so yeah we're in that same energy um where you've got two potential two potential uh loves ahead of you you know the ex there's an ex that wants to reconcile that's what I'm getting here um, but yeah, it's a good update. I mean, it's, it's the same story because it's like a continued story. So it's, you know, if the energy shifts, like if you go ask this person out right now, if, 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 you know, 10 of you ask this person, ask whoever this is out, then the next reading I do, it's going to be a much different story. So, you know, keep in mind that these stories depend on you. They depend on your interactions with these people too. I'm just reading psychics, just read whatever the current energy is. Like that's what I'm going off of. This is, this is what I'm going off of. So it does feel like the secret admirer is closer. Like they feel an opening also feels like the ex is wanting to reconcile 
and crawl back in. So I would say, you know, like I said, if, if you've been giving the secret admirer more openings, kind of flirting with them, keep, keep doing it, give them more and more openings. And I think eventually they're going to ask you out. Um, but again, they're very shy and kind of sweet and timid. So it's like, you're going to have to like, you're going to have to kind of make it clear, <laughs> you know, this could be someone who's very attractive and doesn't realize they're attractive. And so it's like, they're, they seem cocky, but they're actually kind of shy because they like, they don't get hit on because like, you know what I mean? Because it's like, they're attractive. So they, they know, like, no, people are too scared to talk to them. So they feel like there's something wrong with them or that could be you that could be you or your person but um but anyway yeah so like I said if you want a private reading my email is below donations are appreciated and yeah please subscribe if it resonates